guys later. I think this is my first time playing Anon, which is very exciting. Oh, I forgot that I don't have my little croc avatar up. Uh, maybe I'll turn that on after this game, because he is kind of cute. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just uh, we just take the pigeon here, and we're both on turtle, so I probably just want to like play around ants, most likely. Freeze the apple. Let's see how this goes. I'm so pig pilled that I was like, take the pig. Uh but no, I uh <clears throat> we don't need that. We have a good pet in the pigeon. Okay. Nice. Thank you, game. And we keep the ducks separate, of course. We don't, uh, but we do try to combine pigeons in order to lose since we drew last turn. We put the highest health first in order to lose, um, or at least in order to try to lose. Uh, do we freeze Apple here? Um, there's a possibility that we just managed to end perfectly on 12 gold by selling both ducks. But if that doesn't end up happening, then we don't do that. I'll try to give some extra commentary for my team for anybody watching that wants to get better at Turtle. And I guess for anybody else, since I am supposed to be the sap educator. Okay, yeah, nice loss. He has a, a crappy start. Does have horse though, it'll... No, no, yeah, he has a level two horse. That'll give him a bit of tempo. But we have the snail. I really like this start. I think this actually, um, I think it's fine to just combine immediately. Uh, and yeah, we can totally roll um, these four pets, in my opinion. You always take ox over sheep. Um, maybe you consider it with a horse, and if you already had, like, another tier three. But in this situation, uh, it doesn't really matter the order, of course, that we buy them in in this case. But if you had a dog, you'd want to buy the dog first. Um, and then buy the other pets to make sure that you get those temp stats for the turn. You don't want to position your rat in front of that guy. That would be a big misplay. High stack first, except here. I guess um this would be okay actually. Unless he unless my hedgehog and his hedgehog. Let's play around the hedgehogs, I guess. Turns out we bought four pets, we don't buy the apple, so we unfreeze. And let's see what uh what his board looks like. Rat not great into a horse, but... Okay, yeah, so we got the tempo with the horse, which is what I was expecting. But the snail will put in good work for us. Uh, Hedgehog now is looking pretty unfortunate against his uh, camel. And the rat's not great either. But I think there were fine pickups just for stats. I probably greed... I don't know if it's greeting, actually. You know... The camel's not that big. We actually have a way of messing with him. Yeah, we have a very, we have a very tricky way of messing with him. Uh, which I like. So yeah, we're going to want the second hedgehog. In order to do this, I probably want to buff the snail so that I'm not killing my own guys. But I can just hold on to that for now. Okay. So there's a flamingo. Do I just give up on this idea? I think I, think I do. I think flamingo is too good to just uh, to not give up on it, on the idea of doing that. I don't think we go for the level 2, though. That's fine. Oh my god. Freeze the pill. Rat. Level up. Maybe yeah, I should have gone for the flamingo level up. Might not, not have been perfect. Whoa! Where did the... Did he expect me to play around it or something? That's very surprising. 
to the point that I'm able to win this turn. What happened to his camel? I guess he was like, he gets a level two spider pill. So he's like, no need to do that. But now I just get to keep this hedgehog for free, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, I guess I combine here first, actually, because, yeah, no, you always combine here first. Okay. Whale. Whale is nice. I like whale. But for tempo, deer is probably better. Um, hard to say. I don't think we're going big rat into this board. The rat is very big though, so might need to stay. But I prefer trying to get out of this by holding on to the flamingo for next turn. Uh, and we'll try to maybe do this. Um, and we'll pill that next turn, is what I am thinking. Okay, so we'll save this level up for next turn. <laughs> it depends on how weak his board is next turn as to what we do. This is probably a good idea. Yeah, just get those stats onto the biggest second guy. We really want garlic for, I guess, the whale. I'm just trying to say everything that I'm thinking about, but it really depends on what he goes for this turn as to what, uh, oh, he's taking his time. I guess we're both really taking our time this game. Badger, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, he's got some good tempo. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That deals quite a bit, but wow. Okay, so we're winning this these turns, which is nice. Time for a pill. Always remember, if you have an ox, the pill in front of it, guys, okay? And with the whale more most likely to stick around on our board, because we don't really want to keep uh, this rat, we just pill like this, okay? Um, looking at his board, uh, the second hedgehog won't necessarily do a lot. The whale swallowing it might take out quite a bit, which is pretty cool. Um, I think we, we are going to try to save. So... This might be a good salad board. We already have our level up, so it's not like we're going to be rolling for a second level up necessarily. So we can probably do this. Yeah, good hit onto the ox. Get the hedgehog. Now the only issue, of course, now is that we don't really have our... This, since this is the first turn that we have the melon, if the hedgehog pops the melon, uh, that's the end of melon for the turn. So we might, we might just go like this. Um, Tough to say. But either way, we roll. We could freeze this pill for a possible turtle next turn. Um, I think I'm fine with that. And okay, I don't think we take flamingo pills anymore. Yeah, no, I think we just we just want like turtle or something. And let's see how this goes against his board. Okay, so the melon got popped, but at least it was protected against his stuff. Nice, good hits. Okay, and we win again. So this is looking very good. I would not consider these two, uh, these two rabbits. It's too late. We're not really going a food a food build at all. Um, now I would consider this scorpion. Problem is he has melon, he probably wants to melon something. These two, unfortunately, might be skips. Yeah, it's looking like we have to skip. We have five hearts. We, pr I mean, we could keep this here, but I think we're just going to get better utility by finding a deer or something like that in this situation. So it's a rare tier five um, skip, in my opinion. Uh, does garlic do a ton against his board? It could keep us alive. I'd prefer to find cans, so I might buy garlic. Uh, finding tier 6 levels would also be very useful, so that's why we buy the ox. We roll. Um, there's a pear, and there's a whale. I think this is a situation where um, we ha maybe we do go into the level 2 whale. So, how do we play this uh, in terms of trying to keep the maximum stats possible, the strongest board this turn? Uh, and I think it's a board where now we can, now if we swallow the hedgehog, it'll deal some good stuff. So, or if the hedgehog breaks, it does some good stuff. So maybe we'll have the whale swallow a whale. 
funnily enough. Um, and look for cans. Eh, I guess if we're going whale, might as well freeze this. Oh, that is funny. I forgot how that interaction works. Okay, so I just lost myself that turn, basically. <laughs> Which is funny, but against what he has, uh, unlikely to win anyway, but that was definitely not the correct thing to do. So correct positioning in the end was just this. Um, this is a situation where I think we just roll with the pairs. Uh, we do take this deer for tempo though. So we'll just combine whales. Now we actually have a good swallow. That was a silly last turn the more I think about it, but that's okay. Great. So we have turtle pill in the shop. Uh, the question is, what do we do with it, right? Mm -hmm. Is it sell rat? This is crazy, because if I just swallowed the hedgehog, so much of his board would have disappeared. I don't think we'll get away with that, though, this turn. So probably... Yeah, this is a situation where I think rat is doing more harm than good, unfortunately. So, let's sell the rat. We'll just... um. Yeah, do we just pill or do we keep? We could always just try to get Melon onto the Hedgehog. Like, that'd be pretty good. And we could buff our Whale. Mm, what do I want to do? Tricky. But I think you just buff the Whale and roll. Okay. So let's see how this turn goes. It's a shame that we're keeping the shop locked. Uh which doesn't allow us to get melon. All right, we're rare occasion where we get to do a lot, but wow, this should be a win. This is nice, okay. So he's having trouble with his board. He's gonna probably go into summons, which is something that I don't think he's super excited about. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll melon, uh, yeah, I think we, we could melon the turkey to try to keep it alive against any shenanigans. That would probably be fine. Because if he's keeping deer, which he's most likely going to do, then this is the better play, weirdly enough. Um, I don't think we take up a second turtle. Okay, more deer. We keep it, we keep the whale swallowing the smaller deer, of course. Now we just need some chocolates. And parrot? Do we? Is this a parrot board? Um, I think parrot with whale is always a little awkward because you become board blocked very, very easily. I think this is enough deer. We're gonna find something good enough that we either swallow with the whale or the whale just swallows the deer and we put snake behind the whale. So I don't think we need to do that. We could. I think first thing that we level is probably the whale because level two is is very useful and will help give us direction. Now, with, against Shark, back ox maybe would have, was a better idea. Especially since if he does croc, that could just regenerate melon, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Wow, double. Uh, that's pretty shocking to me. Okay. Uh, and if we could regenerate melon, <laughs> that's why we need a, level o a leveled ox. Okay. Now, we don't need to be scared of this rhino because he has zero scaling. And we could just swallow a really good tier 6 here if we get it. Okay, so we get Snake. Um, this is unfortunate because... I mean, it's not like Melon would have really helped necessarily that much either. But maybe we just take the, the deer level to try to figure out a better direction. Notice how I have prompts on. I highly recommend for anyone that hasn't gotten prompts on yet to do that. And... Mmm, Dragon. Do we have time to dragon? We could. We could very well dragon. Hmm. One, two. Well, there's also tiger snake. Uh, I think the safest play is probably tiger snake, and we could always just move the deer further back for any reason. Now, the real question this turn is, do we front ox? Do we front ox? In my opinion, I don't think we need a front ox. I think we use back ox to try to keep this turkey alive for now. 
And let's see. Skunk against his board? Eh, I don't believe in the skunk for this board because we're going to have Tiger Snake. We're going to, I think everything's a little too locked. This turkey might go. Um, okay, that survives. So this is great. I have a very good idea that we'll win this turn. Yep. So good win. We only need one more win now. So what do we need? Uh, we need this tiger in for sure. I think this tiger snake combo is going to do really good stuff. He does have a level two rhino. So we want to be thinking about getting this snake out of eight damage value, perhaps. Um, yeah, I think, I think that would be a good idea. Do we ever chili? I don't think so. I think, uh, but chocolating the snake will help get it out of that value. He has a level one croc right now, but he is trying to level it. Question is, does Turkey do good work here? It does a really good job of buffing our summons, so I kind of like that if it manages to survive. Next turn, we have a fly. Fly is always a little bit scary against a rhino, but I think with, hmm, it's a little tough. Depends on that croc. Uh, we might want like a back mammoth or something, or we, I think we just want like a better tier six to swallow or tier five in this case. So we could always just get our own rhino. If we think about the doubled stats, if you buy cans, that can mess you up sometimes. But yeah, I think we just go like this, to be honest, a little, a little wild. Um, and we can just mushroom that snake perhaps. Okay, but how does the... Yes, I'm happy with that decision. I think we're, I think we're still fine here. Um, let's see. So, I think we mushroom the, this guy. So he does have Tiger Rhino. Very, very cool combo. I'm a big fan. Um, we probably just want Melon. But he doesn't have any like actual scaling, which is very interesting. So maybe this deer should go. I think maybe we freeze roll this cow because we don't really have much more indication of what to do. Um, sure. So let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Go like this. So this guy's pretty big now. Um, I'm feeling pretty happy about what this board is looking like. And we have three lives. I think we do have the opportunity to greed. Um, gorilla. Gorilla against Rhino is often a very interesting idea because it can just get free coconuts sometimes. Maybe we freeze it. It would be a 1420, be a bigger body than the Rhino. Maybe we freeze it and we see what we get. So we really want a level on the snake. Um, we're absolutely forced to swallow the rhino. Uh, there, and this positioning is almost forced. We could do a front cow if we expect like a melon in front. But I think this is fine. And we actually win. So with a 1-1 one, one snake, we managed to high tempo the end. Um, thanks to some lucky cows, and we're up 1-0. Yeah, those snipes definitely trolled it on. <laughs> I got very lucky there <laughs> to win that turn. Okay, so let us uh, go on to game two. Say GG's to our opponent. GG, 1-0. Um... And don't forget, guys, to always take a break if you need. I'm feeling okay. I still have a uh, half a can of seltzer next to me. Uh, let's see if the code is up. Some people don't like saying GG after every game. Marcoto, I think. I think he just finds that it wastes time. But it's not like the code is up anyway, so... Uh, maybe we'll rechat quickly. Yeah, make our own luck. Um... It depends on whether I expected him to keep the croc, uh, and I was like, eh, I, I, I don't also don't want, didn't want to be committed to this uh, level two deer, 
So, yeah. Alcoholic seltzer. No. <laughs> yes. A game of good luck and have fun. Um, okay. But we're in. And maybe, I, maybe I'll stop. I, I don't think I'll say good luck after. Uh, good luck, have fun after every game. We already, we already had enough of that. The thing is, these are kind of the low roll pets. We can, we can, we can just roll and be forced to take those later if we don't get. So I'm a big fan of fish. We have pig. I think when you have your own ant. Okay, if this was a two three, I would have the ant up front because it's a four one. I think you just position like this. If you're really scared of the two ants start, it's fine to position for the draw as well, which he gets. So you know. He wins. <laughs> I didn't position for it. Uh, but we'll see if we can position for it. Pigeons are tempting, but you want to roll for what you already have and use this pig to try to get it. Okay. So you could always consider rolling for the duck, or sorry, just getting the duck, but not really. Not with fish. Think about what the fish does. The fish combine, you combine, you get uh, two on ones. Um, and those two on ones are going to hit whatever's on your board. And you want the duck to get onto your level, onto your tier 3, so you're just like wasting fish um, when you do that. So it's really not a good combo. The pigeon is better. I would take the pigeon if, I th if we hadn't lost last round. And I could always go for the level 3 fish high roll, but since there isn't two fish in the shop, I'm not a fan of that strategy. So let's see how this does. Okay, nice. So we managed to get the draw. Exactly. And let's see what we have in the shop to buff. We have Flamingo. Flamingo is really good. You don't want to skip out on a Flamingo. Um, but it's a shame that these fish buffs are going to maybe buff a unit that we really want to kill. Um, some people might like freeze roll, but I think in this situation, you just sell out of the pig and you just accept your board for what it is. Okay, rabbit sheep. Mm. Rabbit's nice. It's a good pet. Um, and most like, and it's the mo one most likely to stay on our board. We have quite a bit of tempo from that fish combined into flamingo, I think. And also, I think uh, this is a rare case where I usually say ability always over. Um, and yeah, we're gonna buff the rabbit because it's the guy most likely to stay. So that was a good apple freeze on the first few turns. And let's see how this does. <laughs> this is so funny. Is a non-streaming? I'm I'm not I I would expect myself to be the one that's using up all the time, but I guess he's just being careful. Uh how do we do here? Okay, so I'd expect to lose against this dog, but wow, we scrape a draw. <laughs> Even against all that tempo that he had. So Meepone is a very uh, a very good purchase in my opinion. I think when you get Kangaroo on turn 4, Kangaroo is a good pet. You don't want to be like thinking about skipping it all the time. But it's when you get it on the first few turns in my opinion that you should be thinking about that. Now we're probably not going to win this turn. But that's okay. Uh, you don't freeze apples here. You're going to... We're going to want to see if there's a way to sort of transition to, our, to a team that's maybe salatable. Um, good pill now, and great ant. How do we do this? So, it's a, we kind of really want, this is 5 attack now, so we really want this flamingo to get onto it. So, looks like this positioning is what we're going to do. Usually you should only think about positioning once your turn's done, to be clear. Let's roll. Okay. Most likely pill target is the flamingo, because this is very random and could end up anywhere. If we manage to get to a board state which um, where we could pill the ant, but the, the ant is most likely staying for a while because um, we don't. If we don't have to lose, then we don't want to lose, basically. And is this forced? I think this is as good as we're gonna get. So let's just end. Yeah, predictable. But I didn't really see a ray around it. Yeah, he he just has too much tempo for us to, especially when. He, he gets lucky with the sheep spawn. So, 
Should never be too scared of losses, though. Okay. So, decision making time penguin or whale? Penguin would allow us to just sort of rabbit scale our way out of this. I say out of this, but uh, to infinity. It does mean that you're keeping two tier ones versus the whale, which is more flexible. We had a good whale turn, la whale game last time. Uh, let's look at what his board is becoming, right? His board, he has a big camel, so we want big stats. This guy works well with summons, and summons into camel isn't very good. I think this is a rare, a rare, um, just buff the, buff the tier ones. Fish could theoretically go, perhaps, if we get a level two rabbit. So you want to be thinking about that, I think. So we're going to pill here. Um, and this is a rare situation. Does this get us um, to a win this turn? I don't think garlic. Gets, the question is if I rolled for garlic, would it get us to a win this turn? I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. Six attack. You're going to have six attack. We could have bought that. Oh, that's bad. I should have bought that. Okay, second rabbit. So that's good. With two rabbits, we could always just lock roll apples. But I think, I think we're going to be okay. Damn, one more attack. And uh, we do good work there. Uh, and some lucky, uh, some lucky hits for him. But that's a-okay. We could always buy the meat bone, but we really just want garlic on this dude. Which uh, is why it was very stupid of me to do that. I think we freeze roll the salad. Okay. So, this is why we uh, pilled onto the rabbit and ant, by the way. Because now we can actually sell out of this fish, uh, given the opportunity next turn. Doesn't look like we're going to take the salad bowl this turn. Um, we could always combine for maximum efficiency and buy the salad, or maximum chance to um, to win this turn. Or I could just buy the rabbit to be gold efficient for next turn. Um, why don't we just try to win? Let's do it. Ugh, wish he didn't hit the fish. It's getting harder and harder to... To sell it but I don't think we want salad bowls of course they do well, actually they work well with rabbit I think this is a fine board to even salad on in the later turns maybe okay highest attack there we want it further back mm -hmm. let's just go with this yeah it's such a big fish hard to get rid of it now how do we do do we get through to that camel Kill. Come on, kill. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so maybe we should have just bought the rabbit then. Seal. Okay, so we have a very, very interesting board here. Um, basically, we have the optimal food build. The fish is probably too big to sell. I think it, if we had more lives, maybe we greed and sell it. But it looks like we're going to just border lock ourselves this early. So, I think we rip the salad uh, because when you're when you're down on lives like we are here, that should be what your focus is on. And this pair is probably going onto the seal, most likely. Um, and yeah, we're we're definitely board larking ourselves pretty quickly here, but maybe that's okay. I'm not really a fan of keeping tier ones this late. He could easily get a Scorp, um, so maybe we should have played around that. And by maybe, I mean we should have. But that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. And I'm not just saying that to make myself feel better. Oh, it feels good to stream, but at the same time, I can tell that my energy is... <laughs> it, it uses up energy to talk. So, but I do want to talk through my thought process, help anyone out that's watching. Okay. So, seems fine. How does he do with his tempo? We managed to get the draw. That's excellent for us. That's great. Thank goodness. Ooh. Okay. 
This is so sad. <laughs> it's so funny with Seal. The problem is maybe we want to sell it. Um, it's very tough to say, but it's such a... <sighs> we want to be thinking about like how to win. And I think having this extra body here is pretty good. Buy the penguin. And I think we just buy this apple um, because it's a ton of stats. Okay. Um, I'm always a big fan of positioning in attack order when you're in doubt. The only question is, does this order make more sense? Let's think about it, okay? Uh, what does he have? He has to buff something in front. That's either a level 2 elephant, which he got from the spider pill, or it's a dog, or it's something new. This might be better to take care of the back line. I would just hate if, like, rabbit... Can rabbit not kill something? 10 attack. No equipment on these guys. He has no way of scaling them besides pairs, which I'm not sure where the pairs are going. Let's just stick to attack order. I'm not really sure what the correct positioning is here. It's the exact same positioning as last time, which isn't great, but at the same time, I'm like not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. And we actually got the win anyway, yeah. But it wasn't great, it wasn't great positioning. I should have uh, moved to that guy there. Okay. Do we ever skunk here? Is he going the really one big unit option? He has two he has two reasonably sized units, so I don't think so. I think we just roll for chocolates for the seal. Rhino, not great into this board. Um I'm just trying to like compare the size of our units. Okay. With a with a seal as big as this, I usually just want to devote all my all my stats into it because then it's it's just so so much attack across the board and it's not like we're taking a tier six anyway but then this is giving us extra salad i think i'm gonna go with my guts this is very controversial but it's like the beginning of the turn maybe we get another chocolate and now we get to spam feed this uh, seal which is excellent oh and we get a cat so we get to sell off the penguin anyway so that was kind of my decision making, kind of what was going into what I was thinking. Um, this feels good. The question is, do we ever reposition like this to break a melon? Because it's very possible that he could get a melon or something like that. <laughs> Rhino would be actually be pretty good against our board, which is why I, I hate this. But um, I don't want chocolate. Our our I we don't have enough lives. I I think I just want the the foods that will make cat good. All I want is the foods that will make cat good. Ooh, damn, that's a big board. How did he get such a big board? Double monkey, I guess. Okay, we really need this turtle. So much so that we kind of just got a greed for... Maybe... This is weird. Hmm. I don't think we can take this cat yet. So I think we just salable. Ugh, hit the seal. Sushi? Um, there's gonna be melon next turn. Do we really roll a sushi? I didn't... Hard to say. But I think I do and pray for natural melon or something else to appear first. Um, yeah, I really do think I roll that. Okay. 18. Do I just force those stats onto there now? Yeah. Let's roll. Oh, that is a crazy prediction by him. But we still get there. Yeah, look at how big we are now. Okay, excellent pill. Where are you going? <laughs> um, looks like fish is going to be first. This is such a beautiful opening shot, man. I'm a big fan. This is great. Um, I, I almost never get boards like this. But we are huge. Oh, and it hit the seal. I mean, just look at that. Just look at those stats. They're flying. 
Um, when when we're rolling for food to buy next turn, I think you just greed for the better foods. Yeah, just greed for the better foods. Oh, it works every time. Do we ever positioning mix up? Front cat. Um, because he could easily get melon. I think it's worth it because we won by like a really big unit last turn. So I think it's it's worth the positioning mix up. And the next turn we can go front melon again and then maybe we do the no mix up mix up. Oh, you are such a jerk. Except that your board's now looking not that scary. Depends what you find, I guess. Uh is this cupcake a worth a buy? Not on not right now. Oh, I'm so good. And you know what they always say, honey in the back. <laughs> Especially when it gives freaking six attack stats across the board. Um, is it really honey in the back, though, if that attack is higher? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. Um, this is looking great. This is really good for us. Uh, it's his. It's our game to lose, I'd say, even though we're on two hearts. Um, you know, he had only had like a level one dragon last turn. Does synergize very well with his dog. But I don't think Boar is going to cut it against a scaling board like this. Um, I think we just have the time to find more melons. He would have to figure out a way to play around our melons. This guy, this uh, meat bone can be replaced. So that was a very lucky turtle find for us, I think, to stabilize. Yeah, he just he does he doesn't have the stats. Um or the equipment. So we can now just rip a stake to make sure that we kill anything that's in the front. Uh or stake like this. I mean we most want protective equipment, but I don't think you can look this in the eye and say that uh that's a bad take. I think that's fine as well. A lot of attack stats. Roll. Great sushi. <laughs> I like the plus zero buff there, just in case newbies don't notice. I think I I mean I kinda like that. I think uh I've talked to people like um grounded that don't like it. He could always buy a chili if he predicts the melon further back. So I think I like repositioning like this now. Just put a stake up front. Um yeah, and just look for good foods. He's going to take his whole turn just buy selling. <laughs> but we're lucky that he hasn't gotten the level 2 dragon by turn 13 yet. It's turn 13 and he doesn't have a level 2 dragon, so... Very interested in seeing what he does. I mean, maybe, maybe we could think that he's just never going to buy a chili, so we should have just put Melon second, but I hate Melon second. Yeah, we're just we're just too big for him to deal with. He finally got that guy. Um, do we have her cupcake here? Cupcake does feel pretty good. So he has a steak there. It does feel pretty good in this situation, but I think melons are just more important. Hmm, do we have her chili? I don't want to buy chili, I want melon. Maybe I'm grading too much. Yeah, in this situation, I think two last buys to do. Don't see how that how that does us. Not a great turn. That might have been a little desperate. Maybe I should have just rolled the six gold down looking for something better. Um, because I mean I literally bought a cupcake, but it's because he's on one heart. But that's always the that's always the danger when your opponent is on one heart. You're like, I gotta do everything possible. But in using that three gold on like a a random buy this turn, maybe you're preventing yourself from finding the real tools that will help you help you for sure win is the danger here. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. He doesn't have the gold to buy melon is the thing. 
Because that dog's inflated stats. It, it's all temporary. So hopefully we go up 2-0 here, but you never know. Okay, good purchase by him. Oh my god, honey in the back mattered. Oh, 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 oh. That's crazy. That was well played by him, but can't beat the honey. GG. Uh, okay, I'm going to take a quick break uh, to use the restroom. And, but first, let's update the score and revel, revel in the 2-0 lead that we have. Whew. Okay, be right back, everybody. Okay, I am back. Let's see if we can clutch this up and finish out this best of seven. I should probably clarify it's a best of seven over here. Um, and see who we have. Um, hello, Swanee. Hello, Pranker. I'm glad you're here. Um, hello, Mackins. Uh, did you win your set? Uh, let's check results. That's okay. You'll you'll uh you're still uh, learning one of you ones, so you'll get better. Okay, let me tell Anon that I'm back. And get off this revelatory windscreen. I do love that I'm winning with my Crocs or Golden account. Very fun. Um
It's all good. We all suck at the beginning. <laughs> Anon was like, do you want a best of a... Um, yeah, exactly, Bublo. Anon was like, do you want a best of 11 or something? And I was uh, like, nope, no best of 11 for me, please. This is already very draining, just best of sevens. It took so long before I felt more comfortable. Not more comfortable, but had the energy to do best of sevens. I think like midway through last season, even last season, I mean, you sweat in like tough games. I haven't been sweating yet, though. No, no, that's no disrespect to Anon. It's just uh, my games have gone, these games have gone well so far. Okay, let's try to join. Um, not the not the greatest start. I like horse. Um, I like horse. I think you just you're supposed to take just bait. Uh, just take beaver and roll. Let's be optimal for a second. And you take the two fish. This isn't optimal. The duck is very tempting because duck is good. But when you have the two, the double there, you just are forced to take it. We'll play around ant because we already have already seen him go ant once. Okay, and I feel like our board is more likely to draw since he can't really get rid of those mosquitoes now. So I'm feeling very good about being able to get snail value. Um. No. Good. And. And part of the reason for why we just roll and aren't like buying five units this turn is uh, the fact that it's a throw round. So we want to try to get snail value. We don't combine. Well, I guess we're never selling beaver separately. At least I don't plan on selling beaver separately. So I'm fine just combining right there. Well, if, ugh, this doesn't feel like a board we're freezing apples into. We're more likely to meat bone something or want to have a pill ready for something. Wow, he managed to get the draw? Are you kidding me? What did I do wrong? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually so nuts. Uh, I hate the beaver-fish combo, but this is, this is a rare occasion where I kind of want the fish stats to go onto a tier 3 more than onto this, onto this guy. So we'll combine, see what we get. We get Dodo. Dodo's very good, especially with beaver stats. So we'll combine again, see what we get. Maybe giraffe. We get the rabbit worm combo. So in this situation, you don't pick up the rabbit yet. If you wanted to go like maximum tempo, you could just pick up ox because ox is good. But this feels like a very good rabbit board. So we're going to buy this to try to get the two gold apple. Um, If we thought we were going to lose, we could have always frozen beaver there, but I think there's a chance that we win, in my humble opinion. Maybe we go like this. Uh, it doesn't feel like a rube board. We want we don't, we want worms. We could very well meat bone though, to try to not lose the next uh, the next turn. That's if we lose this turn. Oh, that dumb peacock. Okay. How does that do? Yeah, it's hard. I don't think anything gets there that turn. But that's a-okay. So, we have our buff targets. That That's the dodo. If we think... I don't think we sell the beaver. Beavers... Uh, there, there's still a chance that we win these turns, I think. We could just freeze roll these. Because what if we get lucky with like a level 2 worm or something? Um... This takes five gold to buy these two, so let's just roll again. Okay, we have a snail. Do we need the snail, though? It's buff. It's buffing health-wise only these units. It's not, like, the greatest purchase, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think we do that. I think... I think you just tried to draw this turn, basically. Four, uh, four attack... So this gets it to pretty high. That gets that becomes pretty high. Um, six five six five, and this is going to be basically six three. 
seven three. That's pretty good. I'm just worried about feeding his peacock. It's hard to know what to do. I feel like nothing's gonna get through that peacock. You know what? I'm gambling. I think I think this is right positioning. Normally you don't want to do this, but I'm gambling. Oof. Wait. Oh, it worked. <laughs> he sold for a snail. So we actually managed to win there and not just uh, lose. Okay, nice. So now it's time to probably... Um, it sucks to freeze roll these. I guess you just freeze this whole shot because might as well. Uh, but we want, an at we want like another rabbit or something. Nice. Okay. So what you do here is you sell this. You sell the beaver. And we're going to dodo chain this turn, okay, everybody? So watch out for these epic pro moves. Oh, of course he had to hit those. Might actually help us win this turn by doing that, but still, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all, game. So we're going to buff that guy with that. Get some more health and the ability to survive onto him. Now we're dodo chaining. One of the best strategies in the game. Highest dodo gives it to this dodo, and then this dodo uses that extra attack to give even more down the line. Apples are really good with two. This doesn't feel like a salad board because there's too many. You just want them directed onto the dodo. So this is a rare occasion where you actually just... Ooh, this is exciting. So we actually use the rabbit to get um, triple health stats onto this dodo. God, this is such a sick board. I should play golden and ranked more often because I haven't played any turtle and ranked. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Damn it. Nah, it's well played by him. Damn it. That's why we had like a little bit, I don't know. Wow. He actually managed to, uh, to do that. Do we ever go full dodo chain, though? That's my question. Nah. I think we, I think just the two dodos is enough. I think it's enough. The question is, do we ever buff something else? Um, I think we just go like this. I guess you buy the smaller apple, because you just buy pears next turn. I don't know what we're rolling for this turn, though. I guess salads. Salads would still be good with this board. Yeah. Hard to say, though. Okay. That's a shame that we don't have more, uh, more stuff to do. Okay. We're not taking worm anymore. That's too late. We're transitioning to tier fives, so that's going to be two of our purchases next turn. Um, it feels bad that I just don't see a way that we're going to win. What is our win condition here? Probably this positioning is good enough, hopefully. It sucks that these are so good against these guys up front, but I don't really know what to do about that front dodo. Nah, this this is good enough. Very nice. And Skunk isn't so great against Dodo. Um, I mean, we'll freeze everything, of course. This could be a very good can. Because... Uh, yeah. And remember, I'm just freezing all the food, just in case there's a chance that... We want all those. Okay. So let's think about our gold for the turn, okay? If we sell this, that is 11 gold. This is two, so that would bring us to nine gold, which would allow three purchases, which could be the can, the turkey, and then the seal. But then we're, hmm, a little bit awkward though. I don't think it's crocodile, even though I, even though crocs are nice, as everybody knows. Everybody that's in the know knows, of course. Um, yeah. Okay. So it looks like. Here's what here's what it's looking like, fellas. Okay, just just for all the fellas, um, we are that's eight attack. We are gonna just try to use this to take out whatever's in the front. Plan for the dodo to get through. This is useless now. 
we need some good extra pets. I don't think I don't think Blowfish is this late is very good. And we're just rolling for pairs basically. Yeah, I don't think we're salading. We just want these directed stats onto the seal. We could get a board that looks very similar to last turn. Oh no, right. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> he is monkey, which is always scary. Um, it is quite a few stats for what it is, and we could just bank on this is a rare occasion where I think you just buy the foods immediately. Because I really want more pairs if possible. Yeah, we'll just commit to this, I think. I think this is fine as well, to be honest. Let's try to find that really good third unit. Uh, we're going to want chocolates. We're not buying any more pairs this turn. I mean, I don't think. I guess you freeze roll it because it's not like there's anything else to do. Hippo? Hippo would have big stats, but I think turtle... Okay, or skunk. Or penguin? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, am I going penguin? No, I think we want units that stay, and skunk can easily stay on this board against monkey. So now what do we now what do we buff? Uh this is really nice because Seal is now taking taking the skunk hit. Ten damage there. Um this isn't great because against the same positioning, like Maybe, maybe it is front skunk to try to get through a, a, a deer. Uh, we do want chocolate for that guy now. Looks like turkey's going to go next turn. We might be four squatting it. All right, he's looking a, a little bit in trouble now. And us, on the other hand, are looking exceptional. Um, I think I'm willing to buff it with a cow with the cow still on board. A little bit risky, but this is a board that trying to get it's trying to get a level two cow really bad. It's a level one seal. It's not like it's gonna steal that many stats. I should maybe be splitting these a little bit more. Because it's not like the dodo could use some stats, but we really just want chocolate. There's an argument for pear, but I feel like we have such an advantage. We can just greed for chocolate. Mm. Now what do we do? Yeah, maybe I should have just sold cow. Not finding any more cows this turn. I think we just want to go maximum tempo now. Okay, beautiful. And we'll find a tier 6 that I'm sure will complement what's going on here. Oh, oh, thank God you have merch per You. <laughs> thank God I have merch prompts on. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying, man. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I think I think our board is strong enough that like we're just pretty happy with what's with what's going on here. I do wish we had a turtle. I think that would do good work. It's like a final well. Wish we had found a turtle and a pill, and but on the other hand, we have this beautiful board, so can't be too upset, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, and even take tanking a skunk hit, the seal survived. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Um, so first of all, we combine here. Oh, beautiful cat, are you kidding me? How does the gold work out here? Mmm, it's just not good enough. Do we forgo this chocolate? Maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we forgo, forgo the chocolate. Just get these stats with the cow this turn. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I think now we just try to balance out the health stats. So this is for... Oh, that would make it a little bit of a tricky balance between the two, huh? We just try to get them across the board. I like thinking about them as like being balanced between two units, but might not be great here. Um,
think we just buff that guy. Roll for a good food. This is crazy how similar. I think with a cat, you freeze the pair now. Um, I think it's good enough. It isn't to turn 11. Nah, 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 nah. This is a non we're talking about, okay? Uh, we're we're gonna lose if we if we uh, what what is the terminology here? We uh, <laughs> see foot around. I think that's referring to cats. I swear. I don't think that's actually offensive. Hopefully, one health. Are you kidding me? How do we do? Oh, we still win. But who who's sweating? I'm not sweating. I think you guys were all sweating at that break point. But uh, you can't say that I was sweating. You can't see me. No face cam. Pizza. Oh, reload. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm la- <laughs> This is so stupid. He doesn't have the gold, really. <sighs> What's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do when they come for you? It's turn 11. I'm going to assume that he buys a melon. And if he buys a melon, that means I want to pop it. And if I want to pop it, I might as well just do it with a small guy and then think that maybe this attack gets there to kill what's... We can actually calculate. Three. Oh my god, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of health. He's probably going to sell the dragon, in my opinion. I think he realizes on one heart he has to sell the dragon and pray the monkey gets there. I say pray, but he has three monkeys. So that's uh, three. Oh, but it's also 66% of highest health, but I think it has to be highest health, whatever's in front. So... 3, 9, onto, 20, onto 31, and then this is dealing, um, we can just do 30, so it's dealing, so it's 20 health off. Wait, so I don't even need that much high health. Wait, but how did he do that then? Oh, I guess he got lucky. I'm going to trust my calculating gut and say that this, this is the correct answer. Nice one. 3 0. And now time for the fourth game. And 3 0. Okay. This would be a crazy one to sweep. This would be a crazy one to lose. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, I should wish him a GG. GG. Oh, there's a notification for me, but in what, some tests in some server, but I will deal with that later. Let's just move on to the next game. My bubbly's out, but now I have water that I stocked up on, so. Okay. Um, oh, is this the same, similar start to, or similar first shop like before? Oh, and way worse uh, next shop. Um, Pigeon, I think Cricket is great because it's basically a 2-3 body. Like it trades with a 2-3. I see great, but it's a lot better than it used to be. So this would be fine. Do we play around? Yeah, I think we just play around um, Ant again. This is actually probably likely to draw no matter what his, his board is, I think. Except that, of course. Mm, ducks, you're calling my name. I know I want you to. Um, yeah, because we can just sell the pigeon. Okay, pigeon sell it is. Now, how the hell do we uh, win this turn? This is why you freeze the apple, by the way, because you don't want honey here. You want the apple. Um, <laughs> uh, normally I hate one three one attack units, but when they have three health, maybe I don't know what the hell. To... There's no way to win this, I don't think, or draw, but we'll try. Oh, well, that's one way to um. Oh, he's so tricky. He's so tricky. 
I hate him. Except I don't because he's he's going the full two duck route with two fish. He wants me to win. And with these rats, we are going to be tempoing the hell out of this. Okay. Do I just go full dog tempo with cricket? And like rats and worm. The problem is worm is kind of... If I take this worm, it's kind of counter-synergistic. I have a breadcrumbs for the ox. The beavers work with the ox. Only issue here are the two bloody freaking rats. Um, if I take them. Which I think I will, because I'm a rat believer, for anybody that didn't know. Okay, I think we're always taking this worm. And we're probably not going to sell the beavers before we get a level 2. I guess we take the rat, and then bread comes from there. Do I ever sell? Yeah, I think I sell. Very interesting, but I think I like being just a little bit gold efficient. Maybe that was a stupid idea, but like I'm the one playing here, everybody. So just uh, have a show a little respect, you know. Okay, we could have won that. Maybe not with these rats, but we could have won that. Okay, so we have a level up for next turn. Do we save the apple? I don't think so, because we want to start pilling guys in front of this ox, and in order to do that, we need a pill. So, Oh, and a beaver. Um, Looks like worm's going. Yeah, we're just going to be fully gold efficient. I don't think I want that two gold apple next turn compared to just having this board set up. Hmm. It's going to be very hard for us to win. But technically, this is better positioning. Uh, nope, that's not better positioning because of the rats breaking a ox. But who knows? Maybe we get like blowfish and then the two dirty rat summons are just like insane for us. Take a moment, breathe, pray that you didn't just skip a pill. Please tell me that wasn't a pill. And uh, end turn. Mm. Maybe rat front was better because I could have predicted the flamingo. Mm, yeah, it was probably better. Yeah, that was silly. I don't know if I, if it was possible to win this turn, but if it was, I'm not playing it like I should be. Okay, we there is whale in the house, everybody. Announcement, there is whale in the house. Oh my god, and there's blowfish. <laughs> this is funny. Um, we're kind of down on lives right now. I kind of want these beaver stats onto this rat and just like pretend like it's staying. And then just take deer for tempo. Yeah, I think it's unironically like this, this guy. And now the question is, do I take this rabbit, this wabbit, as the cool kids say, or do I roll for giraffe? I think we roll for giraffe here. I guess I should freeze the pill, but I think we're just going levels, to be honest. I could pill here. That could do good work. Yeah, I don't really hate that, actually. We really want, uh, like, garlic on you. No garlic. Roll. 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 Nothing. We're not going elephant, by the way. That's a silly idea for anybody that thought about that. Nice. Oh, come on. Okay, but at least we draw. Um, garlic is good, but we just kind of want the ox level right now. So I think we just roll. 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 There's an ox. 
Come on, give me that ox level. You know, you know you want it. You know you want it. Come on. Please. Frick. <laughs> okay. So, how do we do this? Um, I think it's like unironically this. I don't think these are actually worth it the more I think about it. I think we just need that ox level. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Um, but we don't sell for it because I I just don't feel like selling for it. I think it's just too much of a loss of tempo to sell for it. This is a good position you mix up. I think the rat's more likely to to you can't see my cursor right now, can you? Because I remember that it's only my recording setup that has mouse. So if I, if you ever see my cursor, then know that uh, I am in the wrong mode while streaming. Doesn't even kill the guy. Okay. Hell yeah, good win. We actually would have lost if the blowfish had hit the rat, which is kind of scary, but A okay. Great. <laughs> we have the, the rat rhino combo. Um always everyone knows this is the best combo ever. Probably a good can. Four hearts. The five. Probably a decent can. So I think we take that. Um, just stack onto there, probably. Or do we sell? Okay, so now we need like maximum. Really need like some maximum stuff. I think this is a good cleanup at the at the end. We'll go. Oh, oh! I can't buy you. I can't buy you. Who else was who was screaming at their at their uh, screen saying that I can't buy it? <clears throat> yeah, if he positions deer up front, then this is good. Either way, I think this is like my best positioning. Of course, he gets that, but maybe it's fine. Yes, yes, double. Ho oh, ho, and we get a win that we probably did not deserve given how much stronger his board is. But we will take it. Uh, we kind of need skunks. No, we desperately need skunks. This pair is not going to cut it for a win. Uh, like, we're, we're losing this turn. Even with what we just got, probably. It's a great turtle. It's a great turtle. It's a sexy turtle. You didn't hear that. There's the skunk. And ladies and gentlemen, we are on a roll. Maybe. <laughs> Hard to say. Sell the rat. Sell the rat now. Maybe. Mm. It's such a cool combo. It's such a cool combo. The question it, we're basically deciding like what's actually gonna help us win this turn. And I don't think there's any way that we win. <laughs> In which case, we should probably just be gold efficient um, and shop efficient to try to open up the possibility. We're going to do the cool tech, of course, where we have the turtle up front, because I think I think that gives us the best odds of maybe killing this front badger. But I, he could easily just put the swan up front now, uh, which is what I'm predicting he does. But we will see. What's the best order? I guess this is technically better ordering. But yeah, no, could have predicted that. No, nah, well, well positioned by him. Uh, okay, the thing about the blowfish is that it just doesn't. Unless we get a dragon, dragon save us here. I think we just desperately need the skunk level. As unfortunate as it is to say, we're gonna 
most likely lose this game, to be clear. Like, I don't, I don't really see the way out of here, but we get the skunk level at least. And now we have scamming options. He's big enough now that this activates melon. So I think that's what we have to go for. Question is, what do we sell for it? Uh, he has a board that Rhino now isn't like great against. Um, Ox is actually probably better against it. We actually have a chance now. Now we actually have a chance. I don't want to squander it. Because just in case we get that level, am I really keeping the blowfish for that? I just think like the blowfish is like a guaranteed trigger, while the rhino is not a guaranteed trigger, and we just freeze roll this. Yeah, really hard to, really really hard board to know how to navigate this. I'm just so scared that like this won't get coconut through like turtle because you would need what would you need? You would need like something crazy for that to actually work. Yeah, it's not like you have 20 attacks, so you actually don't do anything. Great. Okay, so I need to like better predict what was happening there. You have melon, you're gonna be more useful. Let's just try statting up this gorilla perhaps. Nope. I mean Yes. This is hard. I guess this doesn't actually this technology doesn't actually work because you you absolutely need the turtle. No, what do you need? No, you just need the gorilla to kill actually. No, that should be fine. Crazy decisions here, okay? Crazy decisions, but I'm a little bit desperate. I mean, now his board is way better. We just, we didn't get what we needed uh, on turn five. Or turn seven? I'm losing my mind. I don't, I don't actually remember how this game is uh, going. Well, I got the coconut, but... There's no point. His board is way too far ahead. That's fine. This is a game where I don't think I'm expected to win, given what I had. Hopefully. Hopefully I was not expected to win. <laughs> like, I'm like, this is, this is a board you just kind of got to go like full scam on. So you buy the steak, you sell the cow, you buy like the tiger for like extra skunk for now, and then maybe... um. Okay, so there's a scorp. So you can always scorp here. Maybe we go like combine skunks, go scorp. So you kind of just gotta scam your way as best as you can. He's got a level two onboard turtle though. Like I have no idea how uh how he doesn't have how he wouldn't have this up front, but it's our best chance. Do we go for a level three skunk? And then steak can actually kill through it i mean there's no way that we win this but look i'm the guy losing and i'm not even the one holding up the game i mean he's got like a guaranteed win <laughs> he's he's taking so long up with it yeah i should have predicted it that's a shame Cool technology, but not going to get the win. Okay, GG. Um, now we're down 3-1. Not down. <laughs> we lost the game. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, Drazy. But... <laughs> um, you know what? You know what the issue is for that last game? Is that I promised that I would pull up my Croc avatar. Did I say Croc or Croc? Croc avatar. And uh, I didn't. All right, let's get this guy in position correctly. 
Hello, I'm here. I'm alive. Let's join the next game. And okay. Goodbye, Chad. Goodbye. That's a beautiful pick. You take that pick, and then you roll for better pets than what's there. <laughs> um This I mean, this would be a statement. This would be a real statement and a half if we don't go the cricket route. I mean, you don't want to lose turn one, so probably just go like that. And I guess you freeze the apple. We're unlikely to buy apples with this board from the looks of it, but I mean, you got to try. Oh, no kidding. The straws. Yes. All right. What did, what did he buy? It's a little wild with the straws. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we want to draw. When you want to draw, you don't stack uh, horses separately. You want to go like this. Not separately. You want to stack it directly onto it so that you have no temporary horse stats to try to screw you over. Probably Cricket in the back. A lot harder to lose with Cricket now. It's quite unfortunate. Um, and you probably roll... Because you don't want to win. What do you roll for? Pigeon? I guess maybe a pig level up? Just buy the cricket. And uh, freeze the apple, I guess. How do we do? Oh, we actually lose! Crickets are so bad! Good pixel. In the end, I guess. Oh, and we have a beautiful board to transition to. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> we if this was sheep elephant, it would be an easy sheep. Um, but this is I we've won with rabbit twice now, and we have the we have the ability to transition into a very sexy board. So that's what we're doing. Yep, we're gonna go like this. What do you what do you buy first? I guess you always buy worm for first, if you think about it. You always buy kangaroo. Because we don't want to like lose completely out on, on tempo, I don't think. I guess you buy the swan. And I think this is the positioning. And now we don't buy apples. Oh great. Okay. So this is good. Um, maybe, maybe Rue was Beth, because now we're board locked <laughs> against finding more worms, and that's what we want. We want more worms, uh, to be clear. I guess this is what you want, because you want to buff those guys. We'll see how we do. We could easily have a camel. Oh my god, his board it looks horrible. Hell yeah. Great, we can just sell the now without worry. Okay, what are we buffing? Of course we're buffing the rabbit. Just do we instantly buff? Ah, the problem is, do we just take the cricket level now? I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely. I know it's awkward. Damn, this is so awkward. Oh, I was going to sell the kangaroo. I guess maybe I should have bought sold that pigeon. This is hard. Um, this is tough. Got myself into a bit of an awkward situation by buying that kangaroo. I did win that turn, but it, maybe I could have drawn without it. And now it's like, do I take the swan? A little bit awkward. I guess I think I take the swan, even though I really want a second rabbit. Nice. 
Wow. Okay, so he's just full on greeting against my board. It's very interesting. Okay, let's see what we get. Skunk. Great. That's a beautiful buff target. Wait, sell which has more which has more tempo potential. I I think I think Rue has less tempo potential actually. So we go like this. Um, we kind of want maximum tempo, which I think means buying this and then garlic onto it. Yeah, it looks like this worm is going to go soon, I think. So it'll probably just be these three. You have the most attack, so you go there. Um, now I, I very, I don't believe that we're going to win these next few turns, but that's okay. We could sell these guys for salads next turn, perhaps. Cricket and uh, Worm. Mm, I'm sure I have. I'm sure there are some top players that would like criticize what I did there. Buying a Rue only to sell it on turn five, perhaps. A lot of things maybe that I could have done differently. Maybe they think the Rue was better tempo than the Cricket, for example. Maybe they realize that maybe I shouldn't have bought the swan, given that I, when you want worm, when you got worm, you don't really want swans necessarily. You just want good guys. Okay, yeah, but we do start, lose, start losing, which is expected. It's a little surprising that we haven't lost faster. Um, okay, so combine swans. I think we just roll this worm because we just want rabbits, really. And this is what I was talking about. Maybe we... Okay. Looks like we're... Looks like this apple's gonna be our last buy of the turn. I don't see anything else that we'd be doing. Yeah, no, we're not taking that guy. And we're buffing our skunk, which is, uh, oh god, if we can get the skunk higher attack, then we're actually countering the crab, which is great, depending on how long he keeps the crab, depending on what he does. Is there any way to win this? I guess we want to pop melon, so I could always just like try to predict the melon pop. Sure, I'll try to do that, but I don't think it's going to go very well. Well, my water's gone, and unfortunately, even though I have a sound damp dampening towel on the desk underneath this microphone, I didn't want to splurge for a boom mic, boom mic, boom boom arm, mic arm. I guess mic arm. We actually win that turn. <laughs> what is this game? I should. Why am I winning these turns? Uh, and of course, we get Croc. Do we end? Do we? Do we beat him out with Croc? Uh, the question is: Are these salad bowls a take? On instinct, I would say no. I mean, this Croc maybe wasn't a take either, but like. It's some tempo. Maybe he picks up a shark. Allows us to go this front. And the problem is, like, now the salad bowl is, like, possible to hit the crocodile, which isn't great. But I think we just roll. I think parrot is good. I think parrot's good because it can go behind the skunk. It can go behind that. We start buying cans. Oh, we definitely, we definitely start buying cans. Get rid of you. Um, but now we're entering that awkward dilemma of what exactly are we buffing if we're buying cans? And I guess the only guy that I can see staying for sure is the skunk, and it already has elevated stats above cans, so we don't really mind that we bought them onto this guy. Um, I don't think it's ever doubled this. Also, there's a chance that maybe our skunk goes before his crab if the crab isn't buffed. 
Yes. Nice. Eh, unfortunate. Give me more cans. I guess pears are fine. <sighs> They're not. Not against the double skunk. Just give me more cans. Give me more cans. We don't sell out of the swan yet, I don't think. Swan's going to give us gold next turn to find chocolates and to figure out our way out of this. From the looks of things. He has monkeys, so I assume he's just going to keep buffing that swan. We could do this now, though, still, because it's not like we're really taking out that many good guys on his side. Is this ever correct? Yeah, we'll just try to pop the melon, perhaps. Okay. The reason why I'm making sure the pair copies the skunk is because if he doesn't buff the crab now, this guarantees hits the swan his health before the crab copies it. And then this guy in the front to try to hopefully, I mean, hopefully he just keeps that guy in the front to greed. But knowing Anon, he's going to buff his monkey or something. He's going to buff his skunks or something. He's uh, smart. That's what I would do. Which means maybe I should have played around that, but for now I'm going off of last turn positioning and I'll I'll take the information that I get this turn into account. <clears throat> Damn, I thought that garlic maybe would survive another hit. Okay. Um there is a crocodile, but I don't really want crocodile as like on my board. So I think I'm actually going to sell out of it, funnily enough. And take this cow and just get more stats onto... Onto what? The parrot? I guess that's a pretty good buff target. Yeah, I think the parrot's more likely to stay. Here's a rhino. First, we'll combine parrots, figure out what we got. We got fly, we got mammoth, and we got rhino. Okay, so we can actually go parrot, mammoth. And maybe, uh, I guess rabbit's so small, we actually could get rid of rabbit. It's not a level two, come to think of it. So I think I was getting a little bit seduced into its appeal. But yeah, I think we keep the swan for now to try to just start leveling up stuff. But this looks this looks good to me. This looks sexy. And there's a monkey, so we can just transition into a monkey maybe as our scaler against his board. Stuff though. This is a tough uh I mean then we'd be scaling a mammoth, but maybe we put the rhino up front as like a surprise factor. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my god, he's got a level 1.5 cat, though. On two hearts now, though. Maybe maybe that's not enough for him. Uh, time to sell out of the swan, I think. I think we gotta expect him to put something else up front, so I'm gonna say that hopefully that's what happens. And there's a dragon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mr. Dragon Man. Mr. Dragon Man. I'm sorry, that's probably pissing off anyone that's listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I guess maybe that maybe that's not the right positioning mix up. Maybe this is the right positioning mix up because we don't want the rhino to get skunked, actually. Or maybe we do. Maybe we do want it to get skunked and then mammoth. And go in the front and just replenish it. Maybe. I guess a real question is whether this mammoth is ever going. I don't think we can transition to dragon. Looks too difficult. Especially. I could be wrong. But. What am I looking for? If I'm. I guess just chocolates for the skunk. But I could have theoretically bought that pair there. But next turn, I'm just looking for equipment, basically. 
Chili. I don't think chili is a phrase, is it? Nah. Okay, I'm predicting no melon up front. Wow, I cannot believe that he didn't. That's that's wild to me. I guess maybe he just knew. Okay, fine. That's the way you're gonna do it. And that's I guess that's the way you're gonna do it. Maybe uh, I'm fine putting melon there. This is crazy. I should have I should have buffed the skunk. I really should have buffed the skunk. I wasn't thinking about that. Because now the crap's staying. Is it too late, do you think? I want I want melon. I guess we take this. Cat? Cat? Cat do anything? Tiger maybe does something? I don't see Cat doing anything. I mean, we're hitting. It's just I don't know how to counter this board. <laughs> um, I think we just roll for melons. And that can help influence what the hell, what the hell we're doing. Okay, I guess with a mammoth there, maybe, and the fact that we just rolled into another mushroom, this mushroom now looks nicer than the other mushroom. So, G Willigers, go fancy. You know what? There's no point. There, there is no point trying to go for that. Yeah, there, there is no point. I think the best option is, uh, yeah, like look how look how big that crab is. There's there's no point trying to make that work. Draw, quick draw. But who has the advantage? I think him with level two cat and the monkey, but we will see. Melon on the rhino. Mushroom the mammoth. Roll. Snake. Question is if I can ever. Can I ever get out of this board into like a, uh, a high? I'm going to avoid using the word scam because I, I think it's better just to like refer to it as high tempo. Does the snake ever do anything against his scaling board? No. It means the fly isn't very good either. It means we just take the mammoth and accept, accept what's going on here, I think. Um, it's a shame though. This monkey is not doing anything now. Maybe I do do this. As like a melon breaker. Nah, I, these stats are too useful. These stats are too useful. I think you just gotta have faith. It's a level two though, so maybe we do have this in the back to try to. Mm, maybe. It's gonna kill though. Maybe we try this positioning. We'll try it. We're gonna go off instinct. Question is whether this parrot should ever be behind the skunk and maybe should be okay i mean that was annoying but okay so he has yeah he just outscales us there's nothing nothing to be done except try to go for this now it looks like mm, gorilla maybe gorilla oh <laughs> Oh no, how do we do this? <laughs> um, on one heart, we just got to get out of the monkey. The monkey's not actually doing anything, which is so weird to say. <sighs> Problem is, I don't feel like we can't get out of this skunk either. Uh, Melon doesn't even do anything unless the parrot's behind the gorilla. Which, is that like even possible? Is that even possibly going to happen? I don't know. But we're going to try to make it work. Well, that was a good scam by him. Nothing. Oh boy. Maybe I should have been freezing the scam options because I should have realized that, like, there is simply no way to make this work. But, I mean, this guy is still just taking so much skunk hits. It's actually the best option in the front. And then we pray that. 
this manages to survive a turn. Why is he taking his time? Positioning, I guess? Yeah. I'm too annoyed at <laughs> this, I think. This is a little bit of a painful game to lose, I think. But... Okay, yeah, too big. Three cats. GG. Alright, he's making his comeback. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break again for like five minutes. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he got there late. It was an awkward board. A little bit sad. Okay, I'm back. No more water. We're going to make this work. Um, 24 viewers. Nice to see all of you. All of you watch me clutch the week for my team, which we went up 3-0 and now we're <laughs> not looking so hot if I don't win this. But let me tell them that I'm back. And we'll move on to the next game. I hope all of your nights are going well if it's nighttime for you. And you get, hopefully, I hope that you all get to watch me win the next game. <laughs> Which is uh, hopefully going to happen with this start. It's not great, but I think it's still the best. It's just not a great combo, though. But it's still the best in shop. I just, maybe he's learned that I position against ants, so should switch it up go like beaver fish beaver but for now i'm satisfied with the draws i wonder if other top players would take both beaver and fish there maybe they would roll it's interesting i wonder if that loses yeah i would have lost there if i had a front beaver is good to know. Oh, come on, game. 
fuck. <laughs> we drew so I could just go for squad, but I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, sorry. Bob. And the worst part is these aren't ducks, so it's like not great. I think we just take the that as like a way of not losing money. Maybe that was stupid. <laughs> I'm still force squatting it. Combine. <sighs> Tell me that we at least lose and perhaps we get snail value this turn. Okay, but with those horses, we're like guaranteed to lose the next few turns. Show me snail. Yeah, very strange place for me here, I think. Hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. I always choose ability pets over that in order to not lose, but we're so guaranteed to lose anyway. I think we're so guaranteed to lose anyway. Yeah, I don't I don't even think we buy these. Maybe a weird of the a little bit of a weird fish sell there, but in my opinion, you just got to do what you got to do. Is it a big beaver game, perhaps? Um, but yeah, we're guaranteed to lose. But just seeing these three horses, I knew that. Should we had some snails in shop? Yeah, no way we're winning that, or drawing that with a sheep, in my humble opinion. Mm, yeah, it's fine. Not great. Maybe we sh maybe we spider pill to get out of this position. I really didn't play, didn't play this well, it feels like. And now we have the awkward beaver sell, so we have no idea when we're selling that beaver. I just feel like a snail doesn't get us out of this compared to a spider pill. Sheep. Can I take it back? Okay. So bad. Maybe we managed to like predict the melon. Oh, I guess fish in the back. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Look at his team. There's no way we win this turn. Probably just need to set up for like a turn five lotto, perhaps. Maybe we just keep the fish until then. Like, I, I don't even know what we could hit to get out of this situation. Dog? Would dog help against Dodo Ox? I guess with summons? I guess summons are kind of the best chance here of doing some good work, but I don't know. I almost predicted it if he would have died in the front. But sadly, there's no way we're getting through this, and he's got such a good setup. So he's probably looking at us and going like, what the heck's going on over there? <sighs> Should have just taken the sheep. Should have just trusted ability first. There's no way. Against this board? But then it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? I think we buy the deer and then sell the beaver? Everything's so awkward here. No, no, no. We need the dock stats this turn. So do I sell this now? Do I even sell it? Maybe I don't.
Okay, so we win that turn. Do you see how desperate we are now? Yeah, we're selling the rabbit. There's nothing on this board that we're scaling, really. Cover this. Accepting that we're unlikely to win? Or do we actually try to win this? Depends if we think he's going to fill in front of it. Which I don't think he is. Hmm. We'll try it. We won last turn. Not a guarantee of anything, but... Do we freeze this for instant turtle? Maybe. Even pill the sheep for some dog tempo, maybe perhaps next turn. Let's try this. I have no idea if this will win us the turn. If he's smart, he'll put this ox in the back or something where it belongs. Okay, good kill. Okay, so he's accepting the loss. The losses because he realizes he has a better board set up. Although no guaranteed easy levels. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Mother freaking trucker. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is not going to help my board. <laughs> He's not going deer. Or sorry, turkey. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything on my board. I don't want to buy that. I just want turtle. Or you, I guess. Just a full summon tempo this out, I guess. He's going to freaking get a rhino, of course, but what can you do? Run multiple deer? Sell the sheep? I don't think you sell the sheep if you don't have to. Who knows? Okay, now you sell the sheep. Because the sheep is good. The sheep is life in this situation. I think this is now our positioning. Pray that he doesn't have front rhino. But either way, at least this, uh, this would survive. With rhino hits all the way back. We'll try to make this work. Oh, maybe cans. Should have gone the can. Uh-oh. No, fuck. Mm, he gets that. Okay, good draw. Except for the fact that I didn't freeze can. And another one appears in the shop. Saved. Dude. Okay, well there's um there's the deer high roll, if you can call that a high roll. Uh now we definitely go like this. Look for a pill to get this onto the board. So many deer. Holy moly. That's two cans so far. And there's a pill. I don't see how we win. Or draw. Hopefully this draws. Don't have much faith though. He could easily just run frontier again. Is it ever is it ever melon onto the dog? It becomes 8, 5, like this guy? Hmm, I don't think so. The worst part is, like, with that garlic, this guy can hit him twice. I don't think he kills. So that means that you require the dog getting to the dodo, so it's... Anyway, we're losing this turn. He's got 75 golden carriages. Love is something. I've got Prince Ali stuck in my head. Sorry, everybody. Mm, such bad positioning on my part, but on the other hand, there's, there's just no way that I 
Survive there. Oh, painful. Painful that it kills both of those. Okay. I don't think there's any point killing onto something here when there's like no way to get dog stats on. Well, maybe we just sell the parrot. I could go parrot mammoth perhaps if I get it. Fly. So fly works well with dog. Problem is I don't want to keep dog. <laughs> um I think I just commit to selling this badger. And we pill. And we're just gonna look for chocolates and stuff. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, well, I guess we have our fifth unit for the round. <sighs> Need chocolate to get out of this. Need skunk. Skunk's good. Skunk's a great scam pet. Skunk. We'll probably have to skunk like this. And then have deer at the back is like maybe a way to get some high, high damage into stuff. Dog's gotta go. Yeah, okay, let's reload then. Okay, well we've got the right type of board to at least win this round. But he's got cat. And I have a feeling he can do big things with it. So I don't think we're going cans anymore. Like, I don't know what we could transition into. I think whatever our final board is. What is this? Shit, I feel so bad to pass this up, but these don't do anything into his board. Whale this late? I don't think so. I think whale would be a cop-out move. No. Shark, maybe. Definitely consider shark. 2-2, two, 4-2. Two, two. But this is every faint, so that means it's just doubled. So this is actually 4-4. Four, four. It's actually 4-4, four, four and he's not going to pick up. And then we just pick it up this turn. Maybe that nets us a win. Rhino just kills our board. All he has to do is find one Rhino, and we're like screwed. I think we gotta go this positioning now. Whatever Parrot Shark? Try this. Hmm, close. Good try. Um, we have no way of dealing with this boar. Sad to say. Mammoth melon? Mammoth? I don't see it. Cat scaling with this board? Does cat scaling get anywhere against his cat? No, no, no. We need we need all the scam pets. So that means mushroom. We need a melon for you. That means steak. I guess I wouldn't mind a level on you. Um What is this board looking like? Could could very easily pick up. Maybe this is this is indeed how we do it. I don't think we freeze that. I think I think we just pray for a natural melon in the shop instead of turtle pill because we need levels on all these guys. Um, okay, so we lose this game and then it becomes three three and then Anon makes the three zero comeback because. <clears throat> I'm not following good fundamentals, which is always have, always use up all your gold on, for, on turn one or whatever.
that is a crazy round to win. I don't think it's gonna keep happening like that. <laughs> um, but we take that level for sure. We roll first to try to find a good food, which we do. We actually do find uh, find a good food. And assuming that he doesn't put the chili up front, this can do some good work. He's just got all the best parts, though. It's hard to figure out like what we're gonna do here. And fly just feeds some triggers. And then this can easily, so easily die. Um, is pair better than the steak? I don't think so. But am I really going to pair to get things out of value? I think you do that after finding a melon, some sort of protection for the shark. This is like an impossible game to win, though. You want this sort of board on like... Because look at these pets. This sort of board is possible on turn 10. But I'm putting it together on turn 12. <laughs> I guess maybe not the mushroom deer. But we don't have a very good board here. Wish we had turkey. Protection. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Okay, one hit. Mm, frick you. Down the rhino. Of course he did. Melon. It does I don't think it does anything. No. Now what do we do? Buy and buy out of desperation because if we survive this turn, like, like there was no other food that we could buy to try to get out of this turn. So that means everything here is forced and everything sucks. And anyway, GG. Send the turn. Um. Yeah, these are games that are making me question my turtle ability to get out of bad situations. I feel like in general, this is what makes me a two seed material. Is that when I have the the perfect lines, I play them very well. But maybe in every pack, I just uh, I don't know how to get her done when uh everything everything's done okay gg next game oh my god did i not change it to three three two before okay well, i'm pretty sure it's three three now yeah i'm gonna try like try not to lose <laughs> well hold on how many ggs have we said let's count the ones that i have one two Three, four, five, GG, six. Okay, focus up. Yeah, my bad. I forgot to change the score last game. So it's 3-3. Three, three. And we are going to try to clutch up. Maybe we do need water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm very sorry, everyone, but Mike is off. This is the final game. We're going to try to focus up and win.
I guess that's why you don't go hippo. GG's. No. Oh, well. And did I skip a scorp? Yeah, I guess I was losing it at the end. Ran out of stamina. Should have asked for the best of five. All her hopes rest on LC this week. Oh well. It happens. It happens. Um, but GG's to uh, Anon. Tough loss. Tough loss. I was up 3-0 and I lost it. <clears throat> Which shows I don't think I played well. Or at least not good enough. Yes. <laughs> I think you're right, Booga. <sighs> Maybe I'll force my top seed opponents to best of threes in the future. Ah, well. Thanks, Mackins. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Um, but we'll get better. And plus, the best part is I was uh, I was recruited for my coaching skills, so it's not even up to me to win. I'm supposed to lose at my seed, right? Right? Probably not games like this. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, let's find somebody to send you all to who can cheer you up after that hellish ending of a set. Um, but very well played by Anon uh, to be able to, to not get so demotivated that he actually played well enough to make the full comeback. Looks like Noob Skills is streaming and is commentating a set, so let's send y'all to him. Slash read. Was I? Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, maybe I was. T yeah, I guess maybe I was tilting. Yes, I should have taken a minute to remember back to you. Thank you, Badger. <laughs> Always good playing you in ranked, by the way. Um. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, I'm sorry for anybody that followed this stream and that I did not see them. Um, I I don't have my headphones plugged in, so any uh, sound notifications. Wait, I just did unraid. I'm so sorry. Noob skills 2022. Yeah, maybe maybe I was maybe I was um maybe I was tilting. It's hard to, it's hard to say what exactly. <clears throat> Maybe the four was the throw, recognizing that that wouldn't beat his team was the throw. Seems like he got a level two dragon pretty quickly. So I should have been hard rolling skunks. I wasn't expecting skunks against this board. He had the turkey. Eh, he played well. No point uh, questioning too much. But thanks again for watching, everybody, and catch y'all later.